I cannot believe you want to look at a Spanish book. Uh, if I'm going to tutor you in Spanish, I'm going to be have to have to be familiar with the textbook, and the sooner the better. Were you born this way or what? You're even worse than my jailers, Reverend and Mrs. Uh, Dwee. Kelly, get the book. It's up in my room. But if I'm going to all this trouble, then you have to do me a favor. I am doing you a favor. I am tutoring you in Spanish. I mean something I actually want. Give me a ride downtown to the Raven Club. <laughs> the Raven Club. Hello, Kelly. You're underage. I know, but that's half the fun of sneaking in. Oh, God. Come on, at least sit down. Come on in. Think about it. Oh. Well, Kelly, it looks like the Reverend and Mrs. Dweeb won't be letting you out on good behavior tonight. No, I, mean, I, I mean it. I, mean, I really mean it. You, you will not be going out again tonight, and you can say goodnight to your friend Joey here and head up to bed, okay? Well, should I brush my teeth and say the prayers, too? Kelly. Uh, Kelly, nobody would treat you like a child if you didn't act like one. No, I act like one because that's the way you treat me. Why don't you just let me move in with Aunt Dorian, and then everybody would be happy. Kelly. Kelly, you know what? I'm in the way here. Why don't you just get me the book and I can get out of here? Joey's absolutely right. Please go up and get him the book. If he wants the book, he can come and get it. I am not trapezing up and down the stairs for Spanish. No, dollars. Kelly, it is better that Joey stay here. Just go get the book. Do you think I want to seduce him in my bedroom? Please. Great. I never seduce a man under 30. <laughs> Now, why isn't anything where I left it? I have a feeling that uh, everything is where you left it. You know, if Cassie and Andrew would let me move in with Aunt Dorian, I'd have a maid to clean up after me. You and Dorian were made for each other. That's what I keep telling everybody. No, no, Kelly, that was not a compliment. Trust me, Dorian has a way of down to her level. Yeah. <laughs> and how was that? Fun at first, you know, the old who cares kind of kicks in, but... It's like everybody says, in the end, you pay the price, and it's her price. Yeah, but maybe that's how it was for you, but that was a male-female thing. It's different with me. Aunt Dorian is family, and not just that. She really likes me. She's just going to end up using you, Kelly. Trust me, she is not a nice person. Ah! I have had it up to here with nice people. God, I mean, they just, they won't let you be yourself, and then they try to turn you into a clone of them. And if you're not perfect, you're bad. Look, you can say what you like about Andrew and Cassie, but you can count on them because they are good people. Aunt Dorian is just as much family to me as they are. Yeah, except she will drop you like a hot rock the very second she gets tired of you or, or, or you get in her way. Now, is that what you want, Kelly? You want to be used like some toy and then thrown away and left alone? Like what else is new? You grow up with a mother who's, who's been in an insane asylum and a father who's been nowhere, and you will know what it's like to be alone. But of course, you, Jessica, Kevin, you grew up in a theme park. Even the name's perfect, Landfair. Well, look, if you think my life is perfect... Compared to mine, it's the Brady Bunch. Do me a favor. You wave and say hello to Alice for me, will you? You've been living in that fantasy land so long. You know how lucky you are. Here's the stupid textbook. Thanks. Call you tomorrow for your first session. Yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. You know, Kelly, about what you said about my family. Look, we are nowhere near being perfect, and neither am I. I'll help you with your Spanish. If you don't want to take my advice about Dorian, hey, it's your life. Joey, wait. I am sorry I called your family the Brady Bunch. Maybe I'm jealous. Not that I'd be able to fit into your white bread family anyway. No, no, no. You're more like a French baguette. You're all hard and crusty on the outside, nice and soft on the inside. Oh. Uh, and what would you say if I told you I was madly in love with a married man? And does this married man have a name? For now, he remains a secret. Oh. It's a forbidden passion. Uh, do you mean forbidden or fictional? Like that duke you were having the affair with in Paris? You didn't believe me when I said I had gone topless in the beach of Riviera. But I showed you, didn't I? 
Oh, yeah, you showed me. And I've been uh, taking cold showers ever since. Joe, nobody told me that you were here. No, it's kind of late for a visit. I'll say. I'm Dorian. It is so good to see you. Yes, good to see you, Kelly. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, not at all. Joy was just leaving. Weren't you, Joey? Yes, as a matter of fact, so was I. I just came by to drop off some presents. Oh, come to think of it, I had some things for River. Excuse me. I forgot to give River his little presents. Maybe that'll cheer him up. He has a fever. No, you know what? It's the rash that I'm a little bit concerned about. What are you talking about? River, okay? I don't know. You know, I'm going to call the pediatrician, okay, okay honey? Don't be silly. You'll just get the service, and then you'll have to get the doctor to call back. Let me have a look at it. No, come mother. On. Oh, come on. I'm a doctor, Kathy. Come on. Come on, mama. Let me just say it. It's okay, oh. Fortunately or unfortunately, I know exactly what's wrong with River. <laughs> Mother, what is it? What's wrong? River has chicken pox. Chicken pox? Oh. Dorian, how could he have chicken But you said yourself, you're not even a pediatrician. Andrew, I have seen that rash before, that kind of fever. Of course, you should have him checked by a pediatrician. Okay. But the doctor will just tell you to... A lotion for the rash and give him a non prescription painkiller okay, okay. to reduce the fever. Okay. And yes, he's going to be a little cranky for a while. Oh, thank you, Mother. Thank you, Grandma. You're going to be okay. How did you, where did he catch it? Well, has he been around any other children? No, last I mean, week? just at the daycare sign. We got to call all the parents. Okay. We got to tell them. Yes, it's better to catch it early. It's really awful when you get it as an adult. Yeah, I remember I had it when I was about five. Yeah, I think I got it when I was around four. Well, or they told me I had it when I was about That's three. Yes, and River is two, so he's got you all beat. You won, River. What about you, Kelly? You have had the chicken pox, haven't you? Uh, never. And Dory and I can't get sick now, especially when summer school's starting. That would be awful. Why, yes, of, of, of course, it would be just simply dreadful. Um, we, we wouldn't want that to happen, now, would we? Uh, you, excuse me, but I, I know that you two have misgivings about this, but I think that Kelly should come and stay with me, at least until River is no longer contagious. It makes sense to me, I, as long as you guys are cool with it. Fine, fine, fine. We don't have any choice. Fine. Okay, fine. And, and like you said, it's only temporary. What? Marvelous. We better get going, Kelly. The sooner we get you out of here, the better. Uh, yeah, but what about my clothes? Uh, we'll send for them tomorrow. Better yet, we'll buy you some new clothes. <laughs> uh, Joey, tell your sister where I am. Okay, she left the wedding reception to get a CD for me. Okay, and we can play it at my new address. 